everyone what's up everyone welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel so for those who are new karibu nisana to my youtube channel and for the returning subscribers thank you so much for the support so guys today i'll be doing a little bit of um, kind of a di different video so i'll be doing a traditional kind of video so today i'm going to show you guys how to prepare a traditional ugali and uh, kindly guys watch till the end subscribe like share comment so most probably most of you have already seen the traditional ugali or they have already tasted the traditional ugali so for those who have not yet tasted this is for you guys and for those who have tasted keep supporting your girl so guys today i'm going to use a little bit of a different uh, method of cooking that means i'm going to use the three stone method for cooking So guys, um, I'll be using this to cook, but most people like using this to cook the gali. Yeah, so actually I'm going to be using this because it's a little bit so light because uh, we've used it for a very long time. So today I'll be using this to prepare ugali. So what you need to prepare ugali are only two things, that's water and the flour. So I'll show you guys the flour and uh, we'll put water to warm not to be so yeah uh, to be so hot not warm yeah to be so hot so guys we'll start by pouring some water into the sulfuria so that it can start boiling so the water needs to be so hot let me add more firewood So guys as the water is still boiling so let me just show you how the flour looks like so as you can see actually you may think the flour is very white it's not white actually it's um, a mixture of millet and um, maize so they are grinded together and it's the final the final look will be like almost brown so guys our water is almost ready so what I usually do is I usually add a little bit of some unga, that's the flour, just to help me know if the water is almost. So we'll just give it a little bit of time. So guys, by adding that little bit of flour, it helps me know that the water is ready since um, you can see they, are little bit, they look like faveses, I don't know, bubbles, but that's how I get to know that the water is ready. So guys, let's start cooking. Be adding little by little as we stir. Okay, guys. Yeah, so we'll be adding little by little as we stir. So we'll continue stirring and stirring till the mixture mixes in very well. Then, as we continue stirring, we'll be adding more flour little by little till the mixture become a little bit hard. So we'll continue turning and turning, and we make at the same time making sure that the fire is steady. Yes, so we'll continue turning and turning. For us, we like the ugali when it's a little bit soft.
told you the flour was not white so as you can see guys it's not that white it's kind of a brown that's because of the millet so guys our ugali is ready and uh, we are leaving it for some time so that it can uh, get some a little bit of heat then we remove it so yeah so guys please comment down below if you have ever this ugali and for those who have not yet tried it out kindly try it out and see what you think yeah for those who have tried it out you can also tell me what you think about this type of ugali and um, this ugali can go in with any meal many meals not any but many meals like fish meats it can go with in with the kales um uh, chicken many many more so guys our ugali is now ready so i'll go in with the cooking stick just to shape the ugali and to make it a little bit round So guys this is the final look told you guys it's not going to turn out white because of the mixture of the millet and don't worry about the noise it's the hen so guys i'll be going in with um, the traditional burger guys we have come to the end of the video thank you for watching till the end remember to subscribe if you have not and kindly drop a good comment at the comment section for your girl